just break down crying i break down crying because i was saying and look at me gonna get emotional again i was saying when the doctor called me at the computer screen to show me what he's experiencing and what he should be experiencing the discomfort she said that he's feeling but when you look at him he just he's just, just there, laying I just there, there and I just, just, just taking everything
we've been back a long time ago hours ago um so much uh, um information to give you guys but you guys know i like to give you these updates with baby in hand so that's my reason why i didn't come on and tell you guys what's the latest however i'll come and tell you guys with babe later when we put the kids down for bed but right now i am in the kitchen making ding ding and for dinner i am making some chicken wings in my air fryer um i don't know what the end result of the chicken wings will be in terms of will i barbecue will i as in barbecue fry that's what you call it or will i jerk some I'm not sure as yet but i think i'm going to um, try to barbecue fry let's see how that Mama, will go not today time not the barbecue outside today the next day so you guys my mind was really on oven barbecue chicken and this is the end result of doing it in the air fryer so what i did was just put them in the air fryer at first and let them fry then i made the sauce put them in the sauce then put them back here and look at that even with the little dark touch i love it yes goody You guys almost did not get this update because look at my eyes. I look red. Do I am oh, red? Say, you are red. Yeah, I look red. But you, you almost look jeez. Your face yeah, look like blood compared to your hands. Yeah, and I, I am not, no? <laughs> yes, you are, honey. Really? Yeah. It's because of that burp on my <laughs> It's a lie. <laughs> You're so terrible. Hi guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. This is Oh Thursday, so this is just the the only moment. You didn't vlog today? Yes I did. You did vlog you today? Oh not, yeah, you were in the car, you, you were in the car. You're remember? Not in, and then the kids got mm. home from Tyler got home from school and was playing with Sarah outside. And I cooked. They saw that too. Hi guys, um, we are here to end the vlog. It's been a long day. Uh, no, we're here we to give you guys an update. Gonna give you an update <laughs> too. Um, as you saw this morning, we went to the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it was for me, I say we, because we went together. But this is for me, it was just, um, should I say, uh, like a checkup. Uh, that with was the more cardiologist. Like a consultation. Yeah, like a consultation to to know more about the future. I mean it went the way she... the way we expected. Um so we went to see the the cardiologist, a very nice woman. She is absolutely amazing. Very nice woman. She oh, speaks okay. perfect English and so she she could talk I to, could to understand chat. more. Could say chat. <laughs> yes, I could understand more and in depth of exactly what baby's feeling and going through and what he will have to go through mm -hmm. next week. So that was the most uh thing. The look at my heart, still the same, I feel it now. Sometimes it's fine, it sometimes it's not good at all. It's just uh Talking like you want to talk, you want to say something. So yeah, that You're was too the, funny when you describe <laughs> it like that. That was the um, the consultation of the day. Uh, mainly it was to know uh, to make sure. I think uh, they have an idea, like a, a pretty much uh, sure idea about what it uh, is. What it is. Um, mm -hmm. So um, the thing is, um, your English better. The thing is like. Um, The thing is, like something that I might always have in my life. Yes, she says she thinks it's something that he was born in. She said, like, nine, five, four out of five times, whatever his experience is, is something that you were born with. 
however she described it in terms of is like it's there sleeping and now it's awake that's how she described Monsters it to make it more awake. easily understandable however she noted that i must understand that it's something that is not going to kill him and he have a healthy heart there's nothing wrong with the heart itself so it, she says it's like there the the heart have a tree and this tree is growing an extra branch so this extra branch she has to she have to cut it off so whatever is making his heart speed up so for example just a random number like his heart be supposed to be at a 30 60, let's say a regular number. 64. Let's that say 60. My, that was my 64. It's when it's happening, it's going way over 100. And that's not supposed to happen. And because it comes very often, I mean, when I went to see the. When I did the test the, the last time, like three, two, three weeks ago, um, for one day, it was 64 for all day and sometime for a period of time like 10 seconds he used to speed up to 180 for... that's, that's kind of what happened today too. so but today he went more oh, like no. right i mean he went to one around 130 average but not every two three minutes i mean every yeah, bam, bam, 10 bam, bam, 15 seconds you, you used to see him bam bam right so yeah that's what i, I experienced this last days mm -hmm. and so the aim is um like to uh to make like a cable I don't know how yeah she's gonna push a little cable from his side go up to the heart and then the tip of that cable is going to burn off whatever is there but what she don't know at this moment is whether it's at the front or the back of the heart so what happened is that um they have to go into the surgery next week one week from mm -hmm. when you guys seen this video and um, he's gonna go in the hospital do the surgery and then get out they're not gonna keep him in there too long so he'll be away for about three to four days maximum and then um, if it's a case, depends on where the thing is located, he will, she will do the surgery in one go. But if it's in a location like the back of the heart, she'll have to do the procedure in two go. So he'll have, to, if, he, if, it, if she have to do it in two go, then he have to go back like a week or two later yeah, for the yeah. second. It's like if you basically um, the, the cable will reach one point that is in the front and the the first step will be to see where it is and mm -hmm. what it is mm -hmm. and if this is what they think and if they see it in front they can remove it right away but if they see it but is they that the see back? that is at the back she at least they know where it is but they have right. like to come back and go to another way right. to but right. they can't do everything in one time so if it it's on where it is if it's where they reach that win in one time mm. so well next week um we leave home for like three days mm -hmm. and I'm he, fine. he won't be because of covid he won't be able to have no visitors so i can't go no with him and that's hurt the most but hey after doing the pcr test he hit covid test oh, <laughs> i'm gonna have to put another things in my nose mm -hmm. so you have to do covid test you have to do blood test and some other tests before he goes mm -hmm. in the last time they did blood test he, he, he stay one week he well guess what one week you're here. gonna feel more because you're gonna oh. get iv and all those things but oh. you'll be all right i'll be fine so we have one week to be prepared for this mentally and how would I say physically but well, mentally and emotionally um yeah so that's what's going on so surgery date set we have a date for surgery mm -hmm. um so it's just us now to be prepared for it and she begged babe to um, try and stay as calm as possible and you have to get rest because the heart is beating more than it used to he's getting more tired so he can't do nothing like 
nothing to make him overly tired. Yeah, you have to be nice with me. <laughs> Stop. Very nice. So, um, <laughs> yeah. You are very nice. She is very nice. <laughs> we have, we have, we have a surgery date. Yeah, that would be the next step. So I have like uh, 10 days to wait to... To do this. To that day. So at least I'm looking forward. I mean, it's not... Nobody look forward for that. But in terms of at least I can move on and... She, she said she don't know how babes so calm. Because what she seen on her computer... Well, now I just morning. feel like I sometimes, since the beginning of video, I don't feel too good. <laughs> really? But I just say, you okay, see, this keep is it, a thing with keep it him. on. <laughs> this is a thing with babe. He doesn't speak. He doesn't talk and tell you... This is what happened. What he's feeling This is, this is why I passed out the first time. Because I was with the doctor like this and I started not to feel good. And I just keep it for me and I say, okay. Keep it up, hopefully the appointment soon finish, stay like this, and this is babe. until I start to feel like, no, no, I can't, I can't make 10 more seconds. That's why I said to you guys when I turn on the camera, just know that you guys almost don't get this because I was talking to my mom on the phone earlier while we were sleeping and I just break down crying. I break down crying because I was saying, and look at me, gonna get emotional again. I was saying... When the doctor called me at the computer screen to show me what he's experiencing and what he should be experiencing, the discomfort she said that he's feeling. But when you look at him, he just he's just, just be, laying just there be, feel it, and just, just taking everything. She yeah. said she said if it was somebody else, she yeah. guarantee you that that person would yeah. be at the emergency room. And we just lay there, just yeah. calm. You always tell I'm me like... I'm a porridge, so... <laughs> <laughs> I try not to be a porridge. You always tell me I'm a porridge. That's true that. You always tell me you're soft like your porridge. Hold on. Tell, tell them you're not a porridge. Tell them that everything does slap you on your toe, on your foot, on your back. <laughs> tell them, aren't you porridge? Yeah. When I say it's porridge, it's fragile like a cardboard box. Alright, anyway guys, that was the update. Yeah, so. For the, the day. The update. We, we have a surgery date and he's off next week. So you guys have to enjoy him for the next ah. few days. Until he go to search and come back, but you'll be alright. I'll be fine. Yeah. No more crying for me. I cried today until my head hurt me. Yeah. Cause I feel, I feel like I wish I could take what he's feeling no. from him. Like you think I want you to feel that? You think I want you to feel that? <laughs> Uh, all right anyway guys if you know uh still give a thumbs up and uh, if you know uh, that don't make sense anyway you guys that's the update for today i'm not gonna say if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up but if you enjoy seeing thailand sarah playing and enjoy seeing the yummy meal yes give it a thumbs up comment down below i know you guys will be sending a lot of love to babe so what you gotta say thank you and I mean it. Oh, all right. Well, I mean, uh, I receive a good amount of messages. A lot. A that's lot. that's very, uh, very touching. Don't cry. I won't. <laughs> but yeah. I mean it. Great. Thank you guys for all the love, my babe. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. tomorrow. Like this didn't happen. <laughs> like it didn't happen.